Welcome to the Tactical Dad Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Cook, and I am the Tactical Dad. And in this, what's going to be a short episode, episode 55, we're going to talk QD mounts, quick detach. That's what QD stands for, quick detach mounts. Uh, that are a type of mount that allows for a quick and easy attachment of a device such as a rifle sling, a scope, a sight, any type of sight or scope, a bipod, um, flashlight, all sorts of accessories you can you can attach to your weapons. A quick detach mount is um, becoming an increasingly popular choice amongst gun owners and tactical folks just because it's so easy to use. It's in fact, it's what I sought out. That's what I looked for with my rifle sling, which you can watch a video of me attaching the QD mount and then putting the attach, installing the rifle sling that I got. And it's just super easy. There's, I did prior to that purchase a different type of mount. The, um, oh shoot, what was it? Some sort of lever, some, I don't know, some different type of mount anyway and it just seemed a little cumbersome. So I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna find a QD, quick release, push button um, functioning mount. So I found that, turns out it's super easy. And a lot of actually, a lot of uh, stock, a lot of stocks and um, butts come installed, like from Magpul, my, my stocks, uh, Magpul, Rugger, AR, Five five six five four with a mag mag pole stock, and it already comes installed with a few different mounting options, and one of them is the is the quick detach, so just super easy. It's becoming more and more convenient to use it. So QD mounts have become very popular in recent years due to their versatility, convenience, and ease of use. That's exactly why I bought it. So it can be useful to to people that are training for tactical situations that are doing competitive shooting those the, the, those people that are doing uh, that are using the weapon and switching frequently between different optics accessories and and different movements and uh, need to do it quickly efficiently and um yeah that that's it, it this is a great kind of mount for for that for those intents and purposes there's lots of different kinds of qd mounts I went with the uh, with the the push button mechanism because it just seemed the easiest. Uh, I don't know if you know down the road I'm going to experience some issues with with, with it breaking because of how push button mechanisms are, are, are made. But I'll let you know when we get there. But there are a few different styles of QD mounts. There's the throw lever QD mount. These mounts use a thumb lever to uh, that that can be quickly and easily engaged or disengaged with one hand. They are known for their strength, reliability, and also their ease of use. I think all of the QD mounts are uh, known for more ease of use. So that goes without saying here. We've got the push button QD mounts, which is what I went for. Easy push button mechanism that attaches and detaches just with the push of a button. They're easy to use, have a low profile design. And then you've got the lever locking QD mount. This is the type of QD mount. They use a lever mechanism and locking mechanism for extra durability and again ease of use just not as easy as push button in my opinion but there you go uh, nonetheless it is a qd mount it's important to note that qd mounts are not universally compatible which i did experience um because i went looking everywhere and i found that there are a lot of mounts and there are plenty of qd mounts that don't uh comply or that aren't compatible with my gun and that aren't compatible with certain guns so you got to know what you're choosing you're gonna do a little bit of research beforehand which was a pain in the rear end to be honest but i learned from it so that's uh, probably a good thing in the end but you got to check the compatibility first um and then 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 you're off to the races then you know what you're going to look for the uh what the one that i went for the push button QD push button. Sling mounts are typically made um, to to um, to accommodate these. Like I have a um, my the mount on my sling can easily be used. Honestly, can easily be used with a lot a lot of different 
mounting mechanisms, but super easy with the with the push button QD mount. So it's going to be great for for my purposes and my intentions of competitive shooting, uh, moving around, uh, trying to uh, trying to uh, being in situations that represent potential real life situations, uh, survival, self defense type situations, home defense type situations. So yeah, if if that's if that's what you're going towards or you're leaning towards, then uh, the QD push button mount were, worked, works really well for me. That's it. This was just a short episode on QD mount. There's not much you can really talk about um, with QD mounts and just one particular type. <laughs> it kind of is what it is. So that's all for me today. Thanks for joining me on another episode of the Tactical Dad podcast where we talked about QD mounts. Have a good day and I'll see you soon.